This video demonstration is brought to you by the Crafts Channel in association with Dremel Hobby. Hi, my name is Kate Hemmings and I'm pleased to welcome you to a special video project demonstration brought to you by the Crafts Channel in association with Dremel. Dremel offer a fantastic range of hobby products that are great for all your crafting projects and today Corinne Brad is going to show us how to use the Dremel 300 series multi-tool. Hi Corinne. Hello Kate. So what can you tell me about this gadget? Well the multi-tool is a corded tool Okay. and it, although it's quite a powerful tool, I mean it is, it's a really good tool for a numerous projects and it, it, it has a, a variable speed control here. Wow. <laughs> And the beauty of a multi-tool is it's, it's there to take the work out of what you do. You let the tool do the work. You'll find that the higher the speed is, the harder the tool will work. So you don't need to press hard on it. You don't really need to expend an awful lot of, of energy at all. Okay. Um, but I'm just going to show you how to make shell jewellery like we've got here. I love these, especially I know. this one. Well, this is just, these are just simply um, mussel shells. And when you see a mussel shell on the beach, you've got a brown and black mm ugly looking shell but if you take the outer surface off it reveals a beautiful bluey indigo colour um, and it does make fantastic jewellery. So quite simply take your common or seaside mussel shell um, and I've just drilled a, top, a, a hole in the top part which is the thickest part of the okay. shell. It's the most delicate part and what I'd advise you do is you drill the hole before you start um, sanding away all this outside because if the shell does crack you don't want to have wasted your time. Okay, I've done that simply with a drill bit here. Now, Dremel do do a full range of accessories, including a seven-piece drill bit set, which goes down to really fine um, bits. So you can use it on all your jewellery projects. Okay. I mean, this one, I've used the largest drill bit, but I've not pierced all the way through, so you've only got a small hole. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sand off the main body of the shell with an aluminium oxide grindstone. Now, this is it here. And it's got quite a rounded, a bullet shape to it, so it'll give you a nice smooth line. So pop it in your multi-tool by holding the chuck lock down and just tightening with your fingers. Okay. Turn it on. Before I start, if you have any respiratory problems, I would recommend that you wear some sort of mask because okay. you are going to be grinding off a lot of calcium. Um, so just to be safe. Just to be on the safe side. Work in a well-ventilated room and, you know, just keep brushing it away regularly. So... Ergonomic grip as before. And you can see that's already starting to take off. That's amazing. The brownie black bit. So we'll keep going with this. So that's ground away all of the outside area. Now the other thing that this grinding stone is good for is for creating like a serrated edge around the outside. As you can see on here, I've cut out areas of the stone to give it a more organic look. Mm. And this is how you do it. So as you can see, it's got a nice wavy edge. you've now got a nice wavy edge. And you, you weren't moving the tool at all. You're no, no, the tool does the all the work for you. Then just to get a final decent sheen on that, mm -hmm. take the, the um, aluminium oxide grindstone out, because this is for rough materials. This is great for getting rust off things. It's uh, quite a rough stone. But you can also get these silicon carbide stones, which, I mean, if you feel that, oh, it's not rough it's at, not all, rough at all. This is great for protecting the materials that you're sanding. So if you're doing delicate materials and you, you, know, you need to, to work on them but you don't want to scratch them. This is the one to go for.
that will just give it a nice sheen. And the way that you see how beautifully that comes out, I'm not going to do the whole stone because it okay. will take too long. It will also, you can see how much dust it's created, which is why you should wear a mask, you should work in a well ventilated area. I'm just going to polish it up with beeswax again. I do like beeswax. You like beeswax. This is a polishing felt pad. It quite simply screws onto the screw tip end mm -hmm. bit. So they're replaceable. Okay, turn your tool on high. And rub it into the beeswax and the friction will melt the beeswax onto the pad. You then apply it to the, to the shell. Look at, I know. Look at the difference. And just take the excess off. I normally just swap the pad over. So it's clean. So you've got a waxy side and you've got a clean side. And just give it another quick polish. incredible it's such an original and idea look at the as blue. well the blue is coming it's through stunning, on that. Isn't it? if you keep going down you'll take the blue surface off and you'll you'll find the white surface underneath so you can as well have like a graduated yeah appearance. you can have a graduate if you're going to do that just just check the translucence of your shell against a light okay because you may find there are some areas of the shell there's a bit here that's very very thin if you keep grinding at it you'll create a hole in it okay. but then again you can then turn you that into a it. feature of it yeah definitely well that's great corinne thanks okay. very much that's all we've got time for here today. For your nearest Dremel stockers, head on over to www.dremel.com. See you next time.